So oftentimes when you're um, making a new robotic program with uh, open computers, probably the most tedious part of it is actually scripting the robot's movement throughout some field or through a mine shaft or whatever you plan to do with your robot. And so to try and alleviate that pain, I've uh, created a utility library called MoveScript that allows you to compress those verbose uh, robot.forward, robot.left, right, and so forth, those um, those verbose commands into a series of very short strings. Um, let me show you an example so we can uh, see how it looks. So let's uh, take this turtle and I've already got some uh, example programs installed here and we're gonna do this first one which takes as a single argument uh, the move script. So let's say we want to move this robot um, forward three and then back three. Normally you'd have to do three calls or a for loop or something uh, calling robot.forward uh, but instead we just do three F three B. Three forward, three back and you see it works perfectly. Um, it even works if there are obstacles. It'll wait and it'll keep trying until it can get through and then finally it finishes. And this is in essence all MoveScript is. It's just a uh, script that allows you to um, define movements for, and actions for your robot in, in a much more concise manner. So let's give another example. Um, let's say we want to dig these three blocks, right? So we're gonna move, we know we're gonna move forward one, two, and then we're gonna swing, up, swing, and then we're gonna go left and swing as well. So let's see if we can write that into our program. We're first gonna move forward two, then swing, then up, then swing, then we're gonna turn left, forward, right, and finally swing. And then once we've picked up all those blocks, we gotta move back one, two, um, go down and then back one. So we do two back, uh, down, then right, forward, left. So if I've programmed that correctly, it should move forward, dig all the blocks, then loop back around back to the start. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. And then, of course, we've got our blocks and we can do whatever we want with them with other robot inventory commands. Um, um, but let's take another example. Let's say we want this robot to go from point A to point B and we don't care how he gets there. We, we want him to be able to get through any obstacles in his path. Then what we can do is uh, we can use MoveScript and append D underscore to the front to indicate that we would like to dig through any obstacles. So let's say we just want to move forward uh, four, right? Perfect. And then let's uh, also showcase uh, going back four because this is a little bit interesting because when you designate that the robot is trying to dig, it will check beforehand before moving back, dig something if it needs to. And so it's a bit slower, but it will guarantee that your robot does get from point A to point B every single time. So um, let's go take a look at what this program actually looks like. And that's it. All we do is require the move script library, um, read our arguments from the command line, uh, you know, check that we've actually provided an argument and do ms.exec. And that literally just takes the string and executes it with MoveScript. Um, let's take a look at how you would install MoveScript. That's it. That's literally it. Just paste bin get this code and install it into lib slash movescript.lua. And I'll put the paste bin link below in the description so if you want to download this feel free to do so um, and let's just uh, let me show one more practical example of what MoveScript allows you to do that is not quite possible 
with uh, vanilla open computers, at least not practical, and that is uh, remote control. So I have another program here called MS Receiver, or MS Receive, and you see now it's waiting for a command, and I have this uh, uh, computer over here called MS Sender, and this MS Sender um, simply takes as a command line argument um, just a move script. So let's say we want to move this guy up three. So let's go three up. Alright, now three down. Oh, whoops. Three down, and then we'll do a circle. Perfect. And so this essentially allows you to send very complex instructions to lots of robots using a very simple um, modem setup. Let's take a look at what this looks like under the hood. That's it. All we do is open the modem, you know, parse our message from the command line, do modem.broadcast and close. So in essence, the functionality of this program is just three three method calls. And let's take a look at um, uh, the program that's receiving. This is it, basically. We open the modem, uh, we, and I also have a little bit of an exit functionality. So if we type exit in the main PC, this uh, program will quit, but that's not even required. Uh, we just wait for a modem message event, then we call ms.exec on that modem message that we received, and that's it. And then wait for a new one. And that is really how simple it is. And with this, you can create very complex uh, robot scripts for constructing houses, structures. I've used it in my world for constructing these, uh, these electrical pylons automatically. I just write a, a few move scripts to tell the robot to move to certain places, place certain blocks, and so forth. And it's a lot easier than trying to do this using the vanilla robot API. All right, let's go take a look at the actual move script code on Pastebin. All right, so here we are. Um, this is the exact code that I pasted into my robot earlier. And you can see it's got a little bit of a description. And I've included the command that you need to run on your computer just as a you know, a bit of convenience. But if we go and take a quick look through, um, we'll see that this move script is not only de dealing with uh, just robot stuff, but also the inventory controller, if you have that. Um, and so, yes, these are a few different functions that um, just wrap around the vanilla functions. But here's the important thing, the function map. You noticed how earlier I was uh, writing these move scripts as a series of letters, and these are the letters that it accepts. You know, U for up, D for down, L, R, F, B, and so forth. And you've got a few uh, interesting ones for placing, because you can place up, down, and normally. Same with swinging, and so those are all available. And what move script does under the hood, when you call move script exec, um, what that does is it first of all checks if you started with the D underscore, then allows it to do a destructive uh, move. Otherwise, it sets it to false and continues and will essentially bite away parts of the string. Uh, so it'll parse the next instruction from that string, rip it away, execute that individual instruction, and then go, go on to the next one. And a single instruction uh, is considered one of these characters optionally preceded by a number. So you've seen me do like 3F. That means uh, do forward three times and so forth. You could even do like 45 swing, right? And so that allows you to swing 45 times and then do whatever else afterwards. Now, not only does MoveScript do the standard uh, robot movement, but I've also included some utility functions that you can uh, use for other automation or simple tasks. For example, select item. It selects a given item in the inventory. And so what this will do is if you give it a name of an item, 
uh, optionally a damage or whether or not you want it to match partial names, um, then it will essentially search through all the inventories in the robot and return true if it was able to select the item or false if it wasn't able to. Right? So this is very useful for when you want to have a robot that's placing lots of objects and you just want to make sure that it has that object. Um, then I've got another one called get item count, which, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, gets the total number of items in the robot's inventory. So let's say you've got a few stacks of grass uh, scattered throughout the inventory. It'll get the total amount available. Then here we go. We've got suck items, and this will essentially suck items of a certain type uh, and a certain number of them from some side. So let's say you have your robot up next to a chest, then you call suck items, and it will suck a certain specified type of item from that chest. Then we've got another one called drop all except, and this will simply clear everything out of the inventory of the robot except for some specified item. And finally, a few things. We've got get energy ratio, which basically gives us a percentage or a, a decimal amount saying how full we are with energy. So zero being or empty and one being completely full. And finally, another utility method, which simply keeps on sleeping until the energy of the robot reaches um, some desired minimum ratio. And this is useful for when your robot is uh, solar powered or is sitting next to a charger. This way you can just call this method and once it clears, once you uh, move on, you know that your robot is fully charged again. So yeah, that is the move script uh, library. And let's uh, go back here. So yeah, um, see if you can uh, integrate this into your own robotics projects. It should make it a lot easier to uh, achieve more complicated um, robot scripts than uh, vanilla. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.